let's talk college safety because there are a lot of you who are not aware of your surroundings and that could be to your detriment. So if you're going anywhere, first of all, try not to be alone, especially if you're going out at night. When you're out with a group, this is really important. Listen, people are gonna party, not judging you one way or the other. Make sure that there's always one person, whether you're driving or not, is the DD. They are the person that is not going to party so much. They are gonna be responsible for your group. Everybody can't be partying at the same time and be so out of it that they don't know what's going on. That is just a recipe for disaster. If you are walking, be careful when you're out and about. Make sure that if you're wearing headphones or especially the headphones that go over your entire head that you actually leave one side open so that you can hear if a car is approaching you, if a person is approaching you, Unfortunately, if you have your music blasting at full volume, the likelihood is you're not going to be aware of what's happening around you. So take that into consideration. I see it all the time and it really does concern me because you see it, cars come up, you don't hear, and then it's too late. Just constantly having your head down, looking at your device. When you're walking around, again, awareness is key. Keep your head up look around be aware of your surroundings so if a car is approaching if a person is approaching you know it another thing is keep personal safety items readily available so if you have a personal alarm i know in the state of california for instance pepper spray and stun guns and tasers are legal it's great to have them but if they're buried at the bottom of your bag what good is it if you are driving, when you approach your car, make sure that you check around your car. Look around your car. Make sure nobody's just kind of hiding, waiting to pounce on you. First of all, try not to park up against the wall where someone can hide. Park in the middle of the parking lot so that you can see 360 degrees around your vehicle. And then second of all, double check to make sure somebody's not hiding creeping around waiting for you before you enter your vehicle and have your keys ready always have your keys handy don't be fumbling for it once you get up to the car because then again you're distracted someone can come up behind you and grab you as i'm being told myself don't turn on don't unlock your car from too far away because then somebody can see it but have it have your key ready so you can unlock it as you get close to the car and you could just get in and get out that's another thing don't dawdle don't loiter once you get in the car go things have happened when people don't go if you are getting into a rideshare situation an uber or a lyft don't just automatically assume that's your car check the license plate to confirm and then speak with the driver to confirm that they are there to pick you up have them identify themselves 